Hello friends, in this video, I will give you a trick to remember the 12 schedules of the Indian constitution. Like you know, in the original constitution, there were only 8 schedules. So through the amendment, we added 4 more schedules. So at present, we have 12 schedules. So how to remember the 12 schedules of the Indian constitution? Here is the trick. As you can see, it is tiers of whole PM. Okay. So here T stands for list of union and territories. So T is representing territory. E stands for emoluments. That is allowances and emoluments of whom? Of president, governor and other people, which we have discussed in the long video. A stands for oath and affirmations. Okay. R stands for Rajya Sabha. That is allocation of seats in the Rajya Sabha. Next S stands for scheduled areas. And O stands for other scheduled and tribal areas. Other scheduled areas in which, which state? Not all the states. That is a stands for Assam, Tripura, M stands for Meghalaya and Mizoram, not Manipur, it is Mizoram friends. Next, F stands for Federal List, that is Federal Provision, that is it is having three lists, Union List, State List and also Concurrent List. Similarly, O, that is O is standing for, that is 8th schedule, that is it is st standing for official languages. At present we have how many official languages? 22. L stands for, this is these are all the schedules that is added through amendment. L stands for, that is 9th schedule, that is Land Reforms. D stands for Defection, Anti-Defection Law. Okay, that is anti-defection law. D stands for that. And P and M. P and M are representing local governance, local government bodies. That is P standing for panchayats and M is standing for municipalities. Thank you, friends. That's it. I hope you like the trick. Thank you.